if you like Neville, you're going to love this. Uh, are you the kind of person that likes to practice their manifestation stuff every day? Well, here's a place where you can find really amazing things to practice. Check it out. This is Bible decoding Neville Goddard style. Watch this. Could you pick like the fourth book? I don't care which one that is. I don't know. But the fourth book, the second chapter of the fourth book, could you come up with a Neville Goddard style teaching for me, please? Here, check it out. Check this out. This, you're going to love it. You're gonna, this is going to be something you can learn or practice today if you're into manifestation practice. The fourth book of the New Testament is the Gospel of John. Oh. We'll look at the second chapter of John and find a passage to decode in the Neville Goddard style. Okay. First, we have John 2, 1 to 11, King, King James Version. Mm. Original Bible quote. Okay. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. Okay. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. Mm -hmm. And he saith unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. <laughs> When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. I wouldn't know what that means. Decoded in prose in first-person perspective. But I... Watch this. The God I am tells me. I have the power to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. When I act with faith and follow the guidance of my awakened imagination, even the simplest elements in my life can be transformed into something miraculous and abundant. Commentary. This passage is a powerful metaphor for the transformative power of the awakened imagination, symbolized by Jesus turning water into wine. The marriage at Cana represents the union of my desires with the creative power of the God I am. The water pots, filled with ordinary water, symbolize the raw material of my daily experiences, simple, unremarkable, and waiting for transformation. When I apply my faith in the power of my awakened imagination, these ordinary elements of my life are transformed into something far more valuable and desirable, just as water is turned into wine. This miracle illustrates the principle that what I focus on and believe in, even if it seems ordinary or mundane, can be elevated into a higher state of being through the creative power of my imagination. The message here is that I should trust in the process of creation within me. By filling my life with faith, uh, much like filling the water pots to the brim, and then allowing my imagination to work, I can transform any situation into one of abundance and joy. The good wine that comes at the end signifies the best results that manifest when I fully trust and engage with the God I am. This passage encourages me to see beyond the ordinary and to realize that with faith and imagination, I have the power to create miracles in my life. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much. In this context, the God I am, what does that mean? See, what we're going to do now is... Uh, dive a little bit deeper in this particular teaching. Okay, I'll show you how to do this too if you want to learn how to do this. And how to get chat GPT to do this for you. It's just text prompting and some stuff. I can teach you how it works. In the context of the Neville Goddard style interpretation, the God I am represents the realization and acknowledgement that the divine presence, power, and creative force traditionally associated with God is not something external or separate from you, but is actually within you and is you. Here's a breakdown of what the God I am means in this context. One, divine identity. I am is a declaration of existence and being. When you say I am, you are affirming your own existence. In this interpretation, you are recognizing that this simple declaration is actually an acknowledgement of your true divine nature. 
The God I am means that you are identifying yourself with the divine power that creates and sustains the universe. Number two, creative power. The God I am refers to the understanding that you as an individual possess the same creative power that is often attributed to God. Your thoughts, beliefs, and imagination have the power to shape your reality. By understanding and embracing this power, you can consciously create the life you desire. Three, inner divinity. This phrase suggests that the essence of God is within you and that your true identity is divine. When you recognize the God I am, you are connecting with the idea that the divine presence resides within your consciousness. It's not about worshiping an external deity, but about realizing your own divinity. Number four, unity with the divine. In saying the God I am, you are affirming your unity with the divine. There is no separation between you and God. Instead, you are an expression of God's power, consciousness, and creativity. This unity means that your desires, when aligned with this divine consciousness, have the power to manifest in your reality. Five, awakened consciousness. In Neville Goddard's teachings, I am is often associated with the awakened imagination or Christ consciousness. It's the realization that you are more than just a physical being. You are a spiritual being with the power to imagine and create. The God I am symbolizes the awakening to this higher state of consciousness, where you recognize your ability to shape your life according to your desires and beliefs. In summary, the God I am is an affirmation of your own divine nature and creative power. It's a way of understanding that you are not separate from the divine, but rather you are a manifestation of it with the ability to create your reality through your thoughts, beliefs, and imagination. So yeah, that's how it works. And uh, that's what I do when I want to study Neville Goddard stuff. And it's so fascinating and interesting. You really don't know what you're going to get next. You just, uh, you know, you pick a book. You could say, you know, Matthew 3 or something like that. And it'll pop it up and it'll share the quote, you know, something out of the Bible. Uh, the exact verse if you want. And uh, then it will decode it Neville Goddard style. And then it will give this great commentary and if you want to go deeper with the commentary or have a little discussion or have a few questions about it or want something similar to it just boom, and it'll do it so it's a little thing i've been working on for several weeks uh tweaking and fine tuning so uh it can do this uh smoothly and effortlessly and it's working really really well I'm learning things. Uh, sometimes I need to focus on this regarding manifestation, sometimes on that. And uh, it's like daily, I'm able to, mm, with, mm, with interest, I'm motivated. I have hope that, and, and uh, I'm getting results too, amazing results. Uh, but it's a process. But it's really working for me and anybody that loves Neville Goddard style manifestation stuff is absolutely going to love this because I design it based on the teachings of Neville Goddard. All right. And so wise guy over here can think like Neville. Uh, it doesn't have to be something Neville actually said about what the Bible says, but he now thinks like Neville. Isn't that cool? All right. I'll teach you how to do this uh, over at richwest.net. There's a thingy or two or something. And uh, I'll show you how to do it, man. It's great. You're going to love it. I know you are. <laughs>